Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're having a good afternoon. The sun is out for a moment, it's gonna be gone in another. So you might guess from my outfit, I'm dressed as a raver, Angry Bee. We're gonna discuss about one of my favorite brands, which is CP Company. So we're gonna discuss about the brand, its history, designers, collaboration, up to recent years. What's my story with the brand and what are my favorite pieces? Take a seat, have a cup of coffee and uh, let's get into it. CP Company was founded in 1971 by Massimo Osti. Massimo Osti with a friend decided to start his brand based on printing. They started doing t-shirts for camping during summer, doing merch for these kinds of resorts. They had a great success. They were selling the t-shirts on the beach and they were using this, let's say, paper-based Printing, printer technique for all over print being innovative. They kind of took that aesthetic towards the 70s. There was a need, you know, for something different, something special and being heavily military inspired. They went on with the first few menswear collection. I really love how the idea was that one of creating classics, but with different twists. So either with performing material, with different functionality, with different printing techniques. So overall the idea was like, let's revolutionize menswear and let's create different solution to what we have ready right now. Answer was coming from classics, from tradition, and there was that need to rebel. But it was done tastefully, it was done with uh, carefulness, and it was done properly. And then, of course, Massimo Osti took CP Company over their commercial success during the 70s, during the 80s, of course, after the birth of Stone Island. Stone Island was focusing more on special projects. CP Company was focusing on constants. And the brand had its heydays, absolutely. You can see from pieces like the police Dutchman jacket, you can see the use of leather, the use of rubberized element, very, very great, solid stuff. Then, from the, in 1996, Massimo Osti left the company. The company was owned by Sportswear Group. And the company went through another very interesting phase, which is the Metropolis phase, in which designer Moreno Ferrari designed a few lines that were focused on the new step, of course, after revolutionizing menswear and having performance and having, like, let's say, a quiet approach to performance and technical products. He decided to go louder into that fear that people had for the coming of year 2000. And the idea was like, okay, let's upgrade this gear and have clear ways for the items to be supporting their life in the city and how you can um, you can you know survive in the urban protection so being protected from the urban elements and that's where like the metropolis jacket came in with accessories like sound cancelling headphones a chair that also acts as a backpack and a screaming device in case you wanted to ask for help smoke filtration masks so on and so forth after that era, CP Company stayed relevant, but kind of lost momentum, I would say, up until 2010. Of course, they came out with fantastic innovation, for example, the Team to Terra, but I would say they were lacking direction, especially after Paul Harvey, the historical designer, left and went to Stone Island. Then, from 2017, CP Company was purchased again by a new group. A new project started, new money came in, and that's when we have like CP Company that we know right now, which is incredibly focused on providing innovation, technology, super cool collabs. Let's think, for example, about the Barber collab, the Adidas collab, the Palace one, for example, just to, try, just to cite a couple. The brand is very healthy and the brand has seen, on one hand, a lot of enthusiasts there are like, have been around for 50 years, but also not a new generation, especially in the music scene. Let's think Marseille, about the south of France, but also innovation and, you know, always pushing the boundaries of that. So that's the brand where it is right now. The future is looking bright for CP Company and I am uh, really happy for it. So my personal story with CP Company, I first met CP Company as a brand in 2015 when I was like vintage uh, shopping and I thrifted a coat from 1991, the beautiful buttons with the date and I was able to learn more about the brand and its affiliation with Stone Island, which of course I had been collecting from uh, before. From that point onwards, CP Company came in into my life in 2020. I was looking, I was here in Amsterdam, I was looking for a job and I was able to get a job as store manager at CP Company. I was really impressed by the people there. I was right away involved in the process. It was beautiful to become a part of the brand, seeing firsthand the archive. I was able to go visit the, the Massimo Osti archive. I was seeing what's happening now with the new process in the northeast of Italy. So again, I was really blessed to be able to have access to the brand and see what was going on, 
the design, how like special pieces are made, absolutely. I was also lucky enough to be working for the brand for 2021. 2021 is the 50th year anniversary of CP Company, so there was like 10 collaboration special drops. For example, there was the Sailor statue, there was the collaboration with Armani, the collaboration with Atta, so, so on and so forth. I was able really to get like a 360 degree view of the company and what it stands for and what the company wanted to celebrate with the book, with the Sebago collab, for example. That was like kind of my deep dive into the brand. And I was able again to work closely and to uh, see the product firsthand, which is fantastic. I started very hard with the Dyneema piece. That was like the first big piece we had in store and then escalated up until having the second Barber collaboration, which I would say is also another great milestone to look at. If we are discussing personal favorites, uh, my personal favorite material from CP Company is 50 Fili, 50 Fili. It's a membrane that's made with 50% nylon, 50% cotton, and it's one of the first proprietary technology developed by Massimo Osti in 1974. It's a great combination of cotton and nylon, creating this carb that's um, resistant, but is also great to touch. I also absolutely love the uh, candy. Candy is basically this clear acrylic nylon garment dyed color membrane that's applied over a color substrate and it makes this jacket pop. Think about, for example, this explorer jacket. Think about this goggle jacket. So overall, I would say those are the two materials that I have fun the most with. And then we have TOOB. TOB is a new favorite, it comes from last uh, full winter 23 season and it's a pol double layer polyurethane with reflective strips and looks again like a tubo, a tube uh, uh, or T-O-O-V as, as long as you want to pronounce it. Those are my three favorite pieces. If I had to go for grails, I would absolutely say this vest with a torch in the back from the Metropolis range from 1999-2000. That's absolutely a favorite of mine. It's really hard to find functioning one, especially with the CP Company branded torch. I would also have to say that this reinvented Itor Turp Mille Miglia jacket with the included gloves and the jacket that's made for adjusting to the seated position. This was done for the 40 years anniversary of the goggle jacket that was launched in 1978 and it was done again in 2008 and it was done with designer Aitor Turup. I absolutely love the finish also this Tinto Terra which basically means dyed ground and is made to recreate this effect. Absolutely love that. And if I have to think about a third favorite I would have to go with the CP Company Barber. My personal favorite was comes from the first collection and this like short Cinquecento Miglia 500, so it means like a crop biker jacket in gray. I have it in my collection, stunning, stunning piece. And uh, yeah, so if you find any of these around, hit me up, follow me on the internet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep in touch. But yeah, I would say looking back at the book, looking back at the sources, those are my favorite achievable favorites from the collection and those are my favorite material. So guys, it was great to take you over some of my favorite fits, what I got in my collection, what I had in the past, and just guide you through, give you some inspiration about CP Company. I think CP Company is a very underrated sportswear, streetwear brand. I think the potential is out there and a part of the collection is really dedicated to innovating and they always come up with different material. Think for example, our last collection, this current collection, spring, summer, they came out with this beautiful denim, collab, they came out with a second version of the TOB with the spell out and green in the front. They came out with this very interesting tote bag. So what I like to do and what I would recommend you do too is to simply, of course, be lucid, think about your wardrobe, but um, always find something. Um, there's always something nice in the collection. Again, especially if it's something uh, really dynamic and really expensive, you will find it on the sales for sure. So recommend that. And also go check the Bespoke project. So this lens and this beanie come from the Bespoke project. Bespoke project is a project that CP Company is pushing of Bespoke colors. So you can buy a white uh, garment, like either a sweater, a jacket, or a t-shirt, and then you have it. You can have it garment dyed by the company, customizing your own Pantone color from over 5,000 colors. So check Bespoke, always check CP Company and their collections and wait for the sales. That's where I get my most of my stuff from. I also got some contacts, but I mean, let's leave it there. So yeah, it was great to have you guys. The sun has remained, so I think it's thanks to you. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to follow me. Follow me on Instagram at Zamo Zamo. Follow me on Vinted at Charles Paris. Charles like the king, Paris like the Paris, but with the X. It was great to have you. And uh, yeah, from me and the Angry Bee, 
Have a lovely, beautiful weekend. Bye. Love you.